A 27-year-old woman and her 30-year-old boyfriend found dead in Sugar House. And police are calling it a tragic murder-suicide. It happened near 1800 East Ramona Avenue in Salt Lake City. Police say it appears Sarah Hawley was killed by her boyfriend, Travis Gaines. Now, the two were renting at the home. Here are some photos here. There was no documented history of domestic violence, police say. And neighbors say the couple stayed to themselves. Everybody has problems in their lives, and this just isn't the answer to it. Say so she had this wonderful career uh, going, very high stress, and it's just sad. It's incredibly sad. Dr. Sarah Hawley was in her first year of residency at the University of Utah, coming from UC San Francisco. Those she worked with say her passion was providing care to women and children in underserved communities. At this point, police are not releasing any further details. This is an ongoing investigation. Well, Emily, Sarah Hawley's death marks the second reported murder-suicide in Utah this year alone. Domestic violence advocates say it's too, too many. ABC Force's Brittany Johnson now takes a closer look at the numbers in Utah. She also speaks with the sister of a murder-suicide victim who has a plea for victims. The number of murder-suicide cases in Utah is staggering. It's happening far too often. Jen Oxboro is with the Utah Domestic Violence Coalition. According to the organization's research, 40% of homicides in Utah are domestic violence related. In 2018, 35 domestic violence related fatalities were reported in our state. In 2017, there were 44. In 2016, the number 22. Now in 2019, Sarah Hawley is the second murder suicide victim reported. Not much is known about her other than she recently moved here to Utah with her boyfriend who, according to police, killed her before taking his own life. Police haven't found any history of domestic violence between the two. It can be hard to share this with people that you don't know that well. The case is something Kelly Anderson can relate to. Oh, it makes me sad to know that someone else has to suffer like my family has. Her older sister Stacy's life was also cut short. She was murdered on October 28, 2016 at the hands of her husband. She was trying to get free and she had divorce papers that she was ready to file the day of her death. Two weeks before she died, I said, just come to Utah. I, you can live in my basement with the boys until, you, until you're on your feet. It makes me feel sad, sad that we couldn't do more to save her. It makes me angry too because my sister wouldn't take her children from their father, but he didn't blink an eye about taking their mother from them. Oxboro says there are always warning signs. Well, you know, we hear this all the time that somebody just snapped or this just happened out of the blue and the research does not support that. Some include but are not limited to extreme jealousy, possessiveness, unpredictability, verbal abuse and controlling behavior. I'm Brittany Johnson reporting. Well, as Britt mentioned, there are just a few of the warning signs. Uh, we have more listed on our website. ABC4.com, and there's a free and confidential helpline available 24-7, that too on our website, but here it is on your screen, the Utah Domestic Violence Hotline, 1-800-897-LINK. A number of uh, bills filed for the 2019 legislative session tackling Utah's domestic violence problem. Uh, HB 19 looks to protect victims of domestic violence from their alleged abusers by changing the conditions suspects have to meet to get released from a jail after a domestic violence arrest. Senate Bill 45 would include aggravated cruelty to an animal on the list of possible domestic violence offenses. And House Bill 137 would enhance the penalty for repeated domestic violence offenses.